down or what, Carajo? Ah, pinga! You must be Talia. Move. What the fuck? Hey, uh, you think I could keep this? No, yes. Hey, man, you just saved Maximus Matanzas, the most blessed motherfucking group in Yara. Well, I would have done it myself personally, but, you know, I couldn't stop crying. Get out of my way. I'm Bicho, man. I'm from Mexico. Get me the fuck out of here. I know you can hear me. If I let you out, you're gonna behave? Mi amor. Fuck you, Talia. Oh, I thought you wanted to hide like a pussy-ass bitch. You want to die before we get to America? Oh, big man, Paolo. So a real man takes care of his chica by hiding her in a stank-ass swamp. Fucking puta. <laughs> Coño. Oh, that's just foreplay. <laughs> Okay, okay. You guys ever heard of Libertad? Clara Garcia sent me. Shh. We were Libertad before Libertad. Who do you think dragged Clara to her first protest when she wanted to live in a fucking library? I don't care. Clara knows her boring ass speeches won't convince Yarns to join Libertad. She needs her voice. Don't worry, Talia's full of shit, and so are you. Welcome to Camp Maximus. <laughs> Animals. Everybody! So those are gone! Come on out! You're still full of shit. A lot more people here than I thought. Are the musicians too? Talia collects dreamers dumb enough to pick fights with Anton's Ministry of Culture. I just make sure they aim the barrel away from the face. I thought I was the only dropout. Papa was a drill instructor. Family's fifth gen army until me. What happened? Expelled. When Papa found out, I turned from his favorite daughter into a freak. His words. Shit. Just trans in the military, compai. I was lucky. Talia caught me trying to steal her gear, but instead of turning me in, she gave me a deck. Libertad can help all of you here. Libertad? When Castillo won, we left riots with Clara. And what did it get us? Clara runs off to play guerrilla. Talia gets thrown into Maria Marquesa's bullshit academy and have to take a big fucking debt to get her out. From who? Bembe, black market smuggler. Once he's paid off, Talia and I are off this fucking rock. Let me take some debt, Paolo. I don't do handouts. Okay. Why'd you leave the military? Punch my drill instructor in the throat. I'm not a morning person. Segunda. Bembe deals in the church. You Bembe? I know a silly when I see one. What's wrong with Ola, asshole? Try to fuck me, Danny Rojas. I sell your organs to the Yankees. And I know if I shoot you, Paolo's death disappears. No. You have rules. You might kill, but you're no killer. Mierda, you got me. So what does that make you? I kill guerrillas. I also kill soldiers. It's just business. Easy to pretend you're not picking sides. My father was a guerrilla in 67. After the revolution, he put on a crisp military uniform. Thirty years later, to his surprise, a fresh new revolution with fresh new guerrillas. They thank him with a bullet to the skull. Buried in the same crisp uniform. Are you ready for your uniform, Rojas? It goes both ways. How's that? You were just dressed like a priest. <laughs> I like you, Danny Rojas. We can do business. Fucking Bambe. Vamos! Talia, where the fuck are you? Look! It's Anton's fucking zebra! 
That's a horse and some paint. See? But it'll make me famous. Take a pic. <laughs> with animals. Uh, uh, Matias, you don't look like a doctor. What, these scrubs don't scream physician to you? Talia sent me to break you out. Fantastic. One problem? If I let go of this artery, he dies. I need a trauma kit. Guards keep the supplies locked in the pharmacy in the other building. I'll go get it. Rapido, por favor. <laughs> Bumbo, over here. You did good, um... Danny, from Libertad. You've done this before, no painkillers? Give me a hand. Only three of you get proper medical care. The rest get me. When I did Paolo's top surgery, there was no anesthetic. Black market hookup fell through. Even then, Paolo didn't blink. Shit. <laughs> Welcome to Castillo's paradise. Tell those lovebirds I'll help after I scrape up some antibiotics for a friend. You will live, thanks to you. Dalia, I got Matias out. Gracias. And Paolo will thank you when he finds out. Danny, you're one of the good ones. Plenty of good ones in Libertad, you know. I think you'd fit right in. Okay, slow down, Danny. If we break more chains, show Marquesa and Castillo that they can't keep us down, maybe I'll consider Libertad. Maybe. You want to confess? Confess. Why are we here? You never even liked Jose. Why? He was an asshole. Why? He was weak. Me papa had a saying. God gives victory to the lions. Sounds religious. <laughs> Me papa love Jesus. He will always say, Jesus would make an amazing young Presidente. Me and Dan always remember Jesus was both the lion and the lamb. Rule with strength, but understand suffering. You believe that? After he was murdered, your grandmother and I were left to survive alone. She would always remind me of my father's obsession with that verse. She hated it. Why? Because he had it all wrong. Be the lion and the lamb? No. She would say, Anton, there are lions and there are lambs. Rule or be ruled. A Castillo must be a lion. For Yara is full of lambs. You don't talk about her. She was always strong, smart, powerful, but <laughs> a woman in Yara. And in those days, she had the wrong skin to lead. Me, Papa, was a lamb. Jose is a lamb. Hmm. You want to know why we're here? You are a lion. And we eat the fucking lambs. Just one fucking show, Palo! We focus on the demo. Javier's cost enough free speech can get us an American deal. Ooh, an American record deal. A grand fucking celebration! What's going on? We got a show for the first time since we ran from Esperanza, and Paolo wants to kill it. Why? Marquesa will kill us. But I painted the loco everywhere. No, I painted them, and stole a fucking zebra, and killed for that local priest. No bullshit, you're doing the show. What priest? 
one song. Then we're out. Ah, oh, mi amor, I could fuck your brains out, but we gotta get ready. Back your shit, baby! <laughs> Danny, I, I love that you're just speaking your truth like that. What is it, Picho? We're gonna need to clear Marquez's propaganda house of soldiers if we're gonna set up our gear. And by we, I mean you. Or you with a little bit of me. Both of us. I get it. Let's go speak some truth. Cojone. So lifelike. Where the hell are Paolo and Talia? <gasps> you look like shit. <laughs> this always happens. This always happens before a show. Hey. Finally. Verdad sobre todo. 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 Falla, porque en la calle se dice que viene batalla. No tenemos miedo, mi gente no falla. Tú sabes que seguimos dando la talla. Hey, canalla, somos los yaranos, tú sabes que no se desmaya. Pasa la raya y verás un pueblo que arde metiendo la galla. Yo me tralla. Quiero que todos salgamos con puños arriba. Quiero que todos apoyen esta iniciativa. Este día llegan respuestas definitivas, progresivas. Sigamos con la fuerza positiva. Es que tenemos las ganas del tamaño de un estadio. Por eso seguimos tomando... ¡Con Castillo! ¡Con Marqueso! ¡Con Paraíso! ¡Deja de a la muerte! ¡We don't stop! ¿You hear me? ¡We fucking go again! Show's over. What are you talking about, Paolo? You made your point to Marquesa. No tenemos miedo, mi gente no falla. So you got her thinking she's hard like Libertad now. Should I run to America like a pussy instead? Fuck, Talia, we can have a life there. Oh, yeah. Smile at the Yankees while we clean their toilets. Smile while they tell us to go back to where we came from. They don't want us, Paolo. My life is here, fighting with Libertad. Libertad? <laughs> Libertad just wants our fans. You think Clara Garcia gives a shit about you? Me, Danny? Take it easy. Oh, so now you're against Libertad. After all the shit we've been through, the surgeries, your family? My surgeries! My family! Not yours! This isn't my war! When this is over, I'm still gonna have to fight to live here. It's like you forget that I'm trans in fucking Yara! So don't talk as if you know what it's like for me. <sighs> A real man doesn't run! Suerte. <sighs> They'll be fine. They'll be fine. I don't think so, mi amigo. Miss Tilly, I'm afraid I only have a few minutes. Let's get right to it. Mm. You spend a lot of time with your father. He is a great teacher. And your mother? ¿Qué clase de tontería es esto, María? Es el estilo americano. Let's talk Viviro, a cancer treatment that extends the lives of millions around the world, except in the United States. My own father is stage four. Why do you make Americans wait? It's very American to expect what does not belong to you. You refuse diplomatic overtures, even promises to lift the blockade. I am sorry about your father, but Americans will wait, just like everyone else. Yesterday, your network, Yarovision, was hijacked by rebels. They called for the liberation of so-called outcasts from Viviro labor camps. Is Viviro produced with slave labor? Truth or lies? The truth, of course. Yada did not write the playbook. Slavery was your first corporation, 1800 to 1860. Cotton was your number one export. Grown by whom? Just a second. Slaves. Four million Americans worth $3.5 billion. The number one asset in your economy was people who look like me. What is that called? A history lesson? A head start. Replaced by a billion dollar prison industry that pays its inmates pennies. America is not alone. Correct. In... Children so are close. Sweatshops build our phones and Bibiro saves millions of lives. Do you think that those lives care where it comes from? Santos Espinoza executed your father in the 1967 communist revolution. You were imprisoned at the age of 13, the same age as Diego. You were self-educated? My mother was a wonderful teacher. 
I understand you were forced to endure 15 years of hard labor. Pruning tobacco. I hear you still have the blade. When Yara becomes paradise, when I give my Vibiro to America, my methods, your questions, no one will care. We're done here? For your father. Heard you got a spot on the night shift. explosives here here and here speed starts charges detonate we create a ring of fire around that hotel hotter than the devil's asshole which means Castillo's forces can get out and reinforcements can get in with Danny right in the middle and then what Danny kills El Presidente it's beautiful hey Danny Danny look at that sexy supremo you want me to kill Anton Castillo Today, Anton is giving his annual Independence Day speech at the Hotel Paraiso, live. Juan has intel on the exact location of his security detail. One in a million opportunity. We're gonna cut the head off the snake and make boots from his skin. Mierda. And you good with this? Kill a dictator who has raped our land and turned our people into slaves? Thinking about it. What about you? Never killed the president before. <laughs> It's an assassination, Danny! It's guerrilla meth! Christ, I need a shower. And you need this. You're gonna be a fucking guerrilla legend! I call you! <laughs> He's too excited. He's right. Kill Castillo and Libertad will rise in the chaos. And after that, who knows? Who knows? Go put that come mierda down. Viva Libertad. Danny, what's happening? Are you inside? I'm inside. There's nobody here. Lara, I think the speech was a recording. It's a setup. Anton's soldiers are coming for you. Get out of there. You were the one who got me on that boat. You should be dead. I was the lucky one. What's your name? Danny, and you? You know who I am. You're here to kill my father. Last I checked, you were trying to get the fuck away from your papa. I shouldn't have done that. Why? Because you were the lucky one. He's a monster, Diego. He was raised that way. And you won't be? You're not going to kill me! Depends if you fire that thing again. If I run, he finds me. If he finds me, Yarens get hurt. Don't you get it? He'll never let me leave. How old are you again? Do you have family? No. You looking for one, Chamaco? You should leave Yara. He won't stop till all of you are gone. Mierda. Keep your head down. This way. Fucking dictators. Gracias. Hey, Danny. My papa is sick. That's why he's not here. It's about time. Need you to do some dead drops for the cause. You drop off the vivido, I pick up the profits. Who are the drops for? You try these? I took one for research, now I can't stop. 
turn my piss purple. You want one? No. Who's paying us for the vivero, Juan? Before we slit Castillo's throat, we should ask for more flavors. It's the Yankees. Worse. CIA. The fucking CIA is in bed with Libertad? What's Clara think of this? Well, if she knew, I would hope it'd be something like, Thanks, Juan. I'm so happy to have guns to kill fascists named Castillo. Etc., etc. Freedom costs money. Clara doesn't ask. And I'll never tell. It's a private club. Just you, me, and lighthouses filled with Anton's candy. Clara needs to stay shiny for the people. You're protecting her. I'm not so sure I'm the only one looking out for Clara. Just remember, after La Revolución, she won't have time for a guerrilla like you. Just in case. That's the spirit, guerrilla. You thought I would have noticed Libertad selling my Diviro to the Yankees? You're a dead man! When the guerrillas arrested my family in 67, me, Papa, was dragged to this very cell. I was put in the cell next door. 13. Like you, mijo. We used to talk every single night through this vent. I loved it. His voice taught me to be strong, to be a man. And then the guerrillas came. Every day I'm in charge. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Crime by crime, piece by piece he paid to the guerrillas. But we would still talk every single night. Until mm. they took his tongue for his lies to Yara. Stop! Papa, stop this! Who is this girl here to you? Ah, I think we should skip a few steps, Raul. Viva Libertad. The attack, the Hotel Paraiso, Danny was there. You, you told me that you hid in the tunnel. Danny could have killed me, could have given me to Libertad. We have no time for lies. I've stopped running. I've listened, I've learned, I've done everything you have asked. I will be El Presidente. Let Danny go. I am not a monster, Diego. <laughs> we will give them a chance. Fair, man. <laughs> You're right. It isn't. <coughs> what isn't? You. I mean you. Look at you. Look at you. You want to do something, you go out there and do it. People see me, they think, fuck up. They see you, and it's, wow, the god of Yara. <laughs> That's not what people see. Uh, bullshit, it is. No. Mm. They see this, that's it. But I'm okay with that. Yeah, because you're a badass. You know, before Libertad, I had two best friends. 
just like you. Lita used to joke we were nothing but numbers to the rest of Yara. I was lucky orphan 13 at Esperanza's school for the lost. After that, I was cadet 2683, then drafty 0418 to rebuild Castillo's paradise. When Lita died, she called me the lucky one. Like an idiot, I thought. Still just a number, Danny. A nobody. But I wasn't listening. She knew I still had a chance to be who I wanted to be. She was telling me not to waste it. To act. People see what they want to see. I am not a number. I am not a fucking gun. I'm a guerrilla, just like you. I use this, and you use that. But I could be a cool fucking gun, too. Here, you're a reporter now. Felicidades. Fuck yeah. This is Talia Benavides from Urban Garden. Coño, it's good enough. Take our stuff so we don't get shot. Let's change these clothes. Wait. Aren't you... Silvia Balboa Garden City? Urban Garden? Can we move this along? Maria's waiting. Welcome. Welcome, my beautiful foreign friends. Come now, Dr. Reyes. We don't want to be late. Neither do we. Let's get in there. I told Bicho to leave our weapons back here. I hope you're ready to fuck shit up. Oh! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm just a scientist. Bitches, leave! Papuera! Get shooting! <sighs> True Yarens, welcome. We have a special program for you today. Maria Puta Marquesa, Minister of Culture, Uncle Anton's personal whore. You're also director! to the True Yarn Academy, no? Where you fry people's brains to make sure they play nice? Like you did to me, right, Maria? What? Mm, don't play dumb, bitch! Talia, put the gun down. She's not worth it. You... You attacked my home. You put your filth on my network. You have any idea the embarrassment I had to endure because of your disgusting performance? I have given everything I am to be here. You think you can take that away from me? My academy was built to save fake yarns like you and that mari macho you spread your perversions with. And where is she? Does she not approve of you playing with guns? Let's go! Let's go! What happened? Get her the fuck out of here! Fuck. Hello?
Mother is dead. These new phones. They're so thin. Ah, oh, pain is a part of progress. Yeah, I learned that from Castillo. Look at Didero. It would have gone nowhere if I hadn't created the outcast camps. You know, orphans like you make the best test subjects, along with the poor. Anyone on the fringe of society. <coughs> That's 0.5 cc's of PG-240, what you call the poison. It's being pumped into your bloodstream. Doctor's orders. All I have to do is call. Wakey, wakey, Danny. Miss me, motherfuckers. Daniel, come on, Karim, you're not safe. You're with me now. He mm. put something in me. Oh, God, he put something in me. Uh, 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 Fucking go! Oh, okay, okay, we meet there. Uh. Your neurons are firing randomly as they shut down. Your subconscious is taking over. Shut the fuck up! I have one request. Please leave your body in one piece for the autopsy. Uh, uh, fuck! You don't give a fuck about Libertad or Castillo. You just like shooting guns. Lita? No, this isn't real. Don't you get it? I never should have been on that boat, Danny. You put me there. We had to leave. Castillo was rounding up everyone. No, Danny. They were coming for you. I should have been with Clara, but I came to the city to say goodbye to you. How was I supposed to know? You took my place in Libertad. You just left my body rotting on the beach. It should have been you. I'm sorry! You had to be the lucky one. How does it feel? I've left her. I shouldn't have left her. It was fucking Bembe. He sold us out. <laughs> Not like this. Not like this. We were supposed to die together, remember? Danny, what are you doing? Danny! Listen to me, Danny. Drop the knife.
Welcome back, idiot. Ostalia. You're both lucky you have the best doctor in Yara. Where's Paolo? Just outside. Said he had a war to plan. <sighs> now cut yourself open again, and I am not putting you back together. Yo, what the fuck? Get out of here, daddy. I'm gonna blow this cabron's head off. No, you Oh, I'm not? You don't think I will? Eh? Bicho, listen to me. You thought coming here was gonna fix it all. But it's not going according to plan, is it? What the fuck do you know, eh? I know you're no killer. Look at you shaking. You're a frightened little rat. A pest, a parasite. Yes. You take and give nothing back. Bicho, don't listen to him. That's right. Bicho, just a blood-sucking bug. Whoa, 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 hang on. You are not Bicho. You're not a bug. What's your real fucking name? You want to think something? Pull that trigger. You need to shut the fuck up right now. My name's Paz. Yeah. OK. Your name is Paz. You're Paz. You're not Bicho. You're not a bug. You're pass. And I need you here with us, man. Hmm? <laughs> don't fail, Jamaco. You're a piece of shit. At least I don't lie to my friends. Not that it matters. But I tried to get Palo up. <laughs> I really did. Nobody told me this was a party. She's so quiet. See, si, big reunion. We need to hit El Doctor. You need to stay here. We need to move. We're not abandoning them. No. Massimas Mantanzas is Libertad. That footage from Castillo Zoo showed the cost of his paradise. The concert inspired thousands to join us. Radio Libertad inspires more. But you've become a distraction. Maria's dead. Viro is a new target. El Doctor is the key to fuck up Castillo's money machine. And he's in the Capitol. He's not there. My people have eyes on him. We were face to face. El Doctor is addicted to his work. He's not going anywhere. Matias has intel. Sergio Esteves, El Doctor's right-hand man, murdered hundreds with his medical trials. That's how we get El Doctor. <laughs> Weren't you running to America? Found your cojones a little late. <laughs> I knew you were military. Paolo. You're right. I'm not your leader. But you've had one foot out the door now. Talia's committing executions. Revolution is chaos. But a leader creates their own order. Let's go. You're called Danny. Pedro Torrero. Now that was a fucking musician. Now the mama and papa are gone. We need Sergio. I'll find him. Then we pay El Doctor a visit. Here, girl. <laughs> Concussion, great to or higher. Laceration, dislocated shoulder. Matias. Let me guess. You're going to treat me to prove you're the better doctor. Where the fuck is El Doctor? The Viviero Processing Center, Building 13. What the fuck, Paolo? You think El Doctor could run the outcast camps without people like this piece of shit? None of this. None of this whole fucking mess would be happening without doctors like him. Fuck him. A monarch mercy. And significant trauma to the skull. Shit. El Doctor? Dead. Real fucking tragedy. The goddess of victory picked us today. Enjoy it, guerrillas. We 
Because tomorrow you'll be fucking somewhere else. You never listen to Pedro Torrero? This generation is lost. Does he ever stop talking? No. Talia! Mio! <laughs> I thought I lost you. No, fuck no. El Doctor! Dead. And Castillo is next. You sound... different. First time you're hearing my voice, mija. That mean you'll march with me to Esperanza? I'll fight for you. I'll put a fucking bullet through Castillo's skull for you. But don't think I'm going to let you off the hook. It's easy to talk of family, equality, when you're not running a country. Mm -hmm. but when your revolution is over, mine won't have even started yet. So let's put it on the record. Bicho! Si, Capitan! Queen Clara! I mean, Heffa! Call me Paz! Paz. I think Radio Libertad would like to hear from our newest Comandante. <laughs> you gonna tell the people Libertad was my idea? Shit, never gonna let that go. I hate this fucking music. It's not Pedro Torero. Exactly, Dan. La revolución vendrá, mi pueblo no aguanta más. Ay, con la yara unida, mi hermanos, que aquí venimos para luchar. True, yaras. These terrorist monsters that plague us, they have no vision for Yara. They simply want chaos. They... They... Diego! See, si, Papa? They simply want chaos. It is off. You used that line already. Ah. You opened it? Sí, señor presidente. It rings every hour, señor presidente. Hola, fascista. I recognize that voice. Mm, did you like my present? You killed him. What a surprise, terrorista. And the intel recovered the us to hijack ten shipments of your precious bebido. Let me ask you a question, Miss Garcia. When I am dead and Yara is burning, what exactly is your plan? Hold hands, sing songs around the fire? Binga! Who told you, fascista? You call me Senor Presidente! <laughs> Start the camera. I am ready to speak to my people. Papa. What? Uh, chest up. Rolling, Senor Presidente. It is with great sadness I must announce the death of a true hero of paradise, Dr. Edgar Reyes. Not only the genius mind behind Viviro, but also a personal friend. 